What's going on everybody? Welcome to your impressions video for today. Today, we're taking a look at a free-to-play game, Hawken. Hawken just entered open beta. Now everybody can go to the website and download it as I speak. And what is Hawken? Well, Hawken is a game kind of similar to Mech Warrior, <clears throat> where you jump in these big mechs, they've got arms, they're bipedal mechs, and you go and you do some death matches and other variety of games. Now, it being a free-to-play game means it needs to make money somehow, so how does Hawken make money? And this is the most important part of any free-to-play game, in my opinion. And it does it in a very interesting way, and I actually don't mind how it does it. So what Hawken does is locks all of its mechs, for the exception of a recruit, and one or two that are rented for the week or for the next couple of weeks. You go to the mech shop right here, and you can see um, what we have. We have the Infiltrator, the Scout... Um, sharpshooter, which is free right now. Um, we have the Rocketeer. I think I just clicked on Rocketeer. There's a Sharpshooter that's free. A grenade, a Grenadier. And you can unlock them by... This one's free as well. Uh, the Grenadier. These are all... All locked. But as you can see, there's two ways to pay for them. This little Hawken money, which is blue, which is the in-game currency that you get for playing games, getting kills, etc, etc. Or M, which is called for, stands for Meteor Credits of which you spend real money for. Now, you could go and you, when you click unlock, it'll say, do you want us to go buy media credits and it'll bring you to their website. And they work very similar to Riot Points if you ever played League of Legends where you pay about five bucks, you can get 720 media credits. And then as you as you go up, the more money you spend, the more credits you get, all the way up to spending 100 bucks. So that's pretty fair. No buy to win right there because it's like one of those rotation things. You can grind out the in-game money and this is all just from one game, by the way. You can grind out the in-game money or you can um, just spend the real money and buy it for cheaper that way. Now there's going to be deals which you can't click on quite yet, <laughs> rankings which you can't click on quite yet, and main. So here you have your three your three mechs, right? My three mechs that are for free. My recruit one which basically looks like a TV with some arms, and then you have my rocket one, and then this one. And they all have special things. So the sniper one right here has increased damage done by all weapons for a short time. Um, everyone has a button they hit R um, that will basically do a special move. Um, so this recruit one uh, is a cooldown thing. We also have um, this one right here has like missiles and stuff and I think it has a turret that it can drop if you press R. So what you want to do is customize them. So this one right here, I thought this was, on, uh, uh, might be no longer unlocked. Let's take a look real quick. Sharpshooter. Unlock. Nope, it's, uh, it's locked right now. Unfortunate. I thought it was free. It is not free, so it looks like the Rocketeer is the only one that's going to be free right now. Uh, oh well. So we'll go here, we'll take a look at um, customization. So customization, you can pop in a bunch of stuff, so what do we got? We got a couple turrets I could throw in here, an EMP, which would be kind of neat. Let's throw the EMP in there. And we'll, uh, oh no, it's it's all locked. So this is stuff that's locked. Again, uh, this is other things you could spend your money on, which is what I wanted to get to. So media credits you could spend what? This is about two bucks, two and two dollars fifty cents. You can unlock the turrets, um, all the stuff that I don't have, and I'm not going to be spending the money on quite yet. You could buy upgrades. Upgrades come with leveling up with the mech. So the more time you spend with the mech, the more you use it, the more upgrades you get. So right now I have um, an extra optimization point per level, which we'll get to in a little bit. I have a five minus five percent of my spread, uh, and ultimate item, uh, which is uh, I can do some more of that. We can customize your, your mech a little bit with different kinds of legs, which these cost a little bit of money, about a, uh, what, a, a little under a dollar, probably it's about equivalent to 99 cents. Um, so these str strictly is free money for different types of legs. Uh, that's real money that you need to use for that, which I'm not a huge fan of. I think if you're going to, you kind of need to have the option to grind the hell out of it if you somebody wants to, and they let people spend money on on, on uh, other things. So we have other different types of heads, also real money, but again, you also keep in mind that they have to make money somehow. And then these are thrusters, which I don't know if these, I think these are purely cosmetic, to be honest with you, but I could be very wrong. Oh, look it! A free trial. Cool. Duration for three days. Might as well. 30 days. Uh, three day trial. That's fine. Can I not unlock it unless I... Oh, well. Not working. Um, hmm. I wonder if... How you unlock that. 
You have paint shop and you have an optimize. Optimize is talent trees. Yay, talent trees. Every game needs talent trees. As you level up with your mech, your mech has specialized talent trees and you spend the points in there. Pretty simple. And you can have an autofill, by the way, each one to be optimized. I right now have the three and decreased repair time because I find myself constantly repairing. So that's kind of how it works as far as the money goes. Very simple. Um, pay to win a little bit, I'd say, right now. I think a little bit of pay to win. I don't like the, the some things are only real money. But for the most part, it's not. And I think some of those, honestly, are just cosmetic and purely cosmetic. Everything you can mostly grind out and if you want to cut the price in more than half and just pay for it without having to grind it out, then you can. So that's how that works. We're going to go in here with my, my recruit mech. And we're going to deploy, and we're going to play... What do we have? We want to launch the walkthrough? No, we'll go to matchmaking. We got deathmatch, missile assault, and siege. So what is... Deathmatch is just deathmatch. We got team deathmatch, team deathmatch. Missile assault is kind of control the point, king of the hill style. And uh, then you have siege, which you collect a bunch of energy stuff as you're playing. Um, to launch your battleship at the enemy base, then control the anti-air attack. So Siege is actually a brand new mode, it's alpha mode. We're not going to go into that right now because it's a little bit buggy. Um, there's certain things that need to be worked out, but we'll go to the Missile Assault, which is my favorite one. And matchmaking, from my experience, has been really smooth and super, super quick. So you hit close here, you're just going to get put on the side, you hit ready. And then you're just waiting for people to go. So it looks like we're just waiting for a few people to join the game. So like I said, from my experience, matchmaking has been pretty simple and pretty quick. Oh, the sharpshooter is unlocked. There we go. We're going to play this sharpshooter. And uh, we will just launch away as a sharpshooter. So one of my favorite parts about the game is how it is legitimately just in the first person of the mech. And everything you need to know is right on the actual dashboard right below it. Your ammo and all that wonderful things. Um... So we have a zoom by clicking the mouse, it looks like. And we can hold down shift to hold down boost. There is a jumping boost as well. And what we're going to try and do here is find a nice area where we can perch and maybe see if we can find any, uh, any, any guys to shoot from far away. And we don't see any here. You can see the fuel at the bottom. Alright, so we got a silo. At the top you can see the silos. Uh, here we go. Let's try to head over to the silos right now and trying to defend it. We're gonna try to take him out. And we got him. 54 experience and we got him. He's gonna blow up. There's a little bit of damage. Gotta be careful though. So our missile silo's up. We want to need to go take at least one more in order to do some damage. Here. And I love the way the mechs feel. They feel good. Absolutely great. The, the game looks really good as well. Um, but the, the way the game feels, the controls is very, very tight, very responsive. I mean, at this point, being in the open beta, you'd hope it is at the very least. Um, I love the kind of restricted vision that, that you have. Whoop. Let's see if this guy comes down here. You need to be on the move constantly. See if we could. Oh, we're gonna go down. We're gonna explode, and we die. So there's gonna be a respawn time. Guy was level three. We're obviously in a level one mech. So he has a few small things. And now with the down, we can we can with the cooldown down, we can relaunch. We're gonna head in. We're getting our butts whipped. We might want to switch to a different mech, one that's a bit better at the close range combat. If we're not gonna be able to get any good distance on these guys, um, since we are a sharpshooter, I believe our health is definitely a little bit on the smaller side. The alarms are going off because well, we are losing. We have lost all three of our points. So let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, whoop, we got missiles coming at us. Ah, uh, we're gonna get our butt, we're gonna die. Ah, oh, we're dead. So we're gonna switch off to our recruit mech here. A little bit better, uh, arm, arms to us. And we're a little higher later. High, uh, high level with this, and we're gonna have. I think we're a little bit quicker. We got a nice broader view with it. I like the cockpit a little, bit <laughs> a little bit better as well. And this thing has a machine gun and basically like a little grenade launcher attached to it. And I believe we're a little bit healthier as well. We have a little bit more health. So let's see if we can take this. We've got the thing screaming at us. Let's see if we can. We're gonna do some damage to him and move out. Alright, mm. 
So we can hit C real quick and a drone will pop up and this will repair us. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Eh, we're gonna die. Should, you should always look around before you decide you're gonna repair. We are getting our butt kicked. This runs in the Unreal 3 engine, by the way, so that's why it looks pretty good. Yeah, keep it together, team. We're getting our butts conquered right now. We'll go over here, let our fuel recharge a little bit, but we actually have a good amount of fuel. We can swing over here. See if we can do a little flanking action here. Low fuel gave us a little warning. So again, as I was saying, I do love and love, love, love the, uh, the in-cockpit view. Oh, Jesus, here they all come. Jesus Christ. They all have so many kills. So our team, there's actually... There is actually a, um, an in... An in uh, combat chat. I don't know what language they're speaking, but one thing I have come across is a lot... I think they're speaking Japanese, to be honest with you. One thing I've come across a ton of is Japanese players in this game. A huge amount of people who speak Japanese. I don't know if they're in Japan or whatever, but holy crap. Maybe it's the hour I'm playing, but there's so many Japanese people who play this game. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, there is an in-game chat system with uh, a voice chat system. Let's see if we can do a little bit of dodging there. Ah, I think I'm getting flanked. I am. Trying to get some damage done here. We're going to go down. Ah, we are just getting wrecked by these people. And then you see he's taking his drone out. We are getting destroyed. Let's go back to the sharpshooter for a little bit and see if we can uh, maybe stay from stay at range because we kind of need to, it seems. It looks like the farther away we are, the better. Let's get unzoomed here. We are getting... I'm getting shot at from something. some damage there to that guy oh man so I particularly like to play snipers in first-person shooters but this kind of game is very hectic and I don't know if it's necessarily the best for that did some damage to him so sniper is really good at long distance See if we can get him, cut him off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't know what killed me, but we ended up dying. I think we got flanked there. <laughs> we are getting destroyed in this game. Oh my god. Um, how many points are we losing by? Oh my god, we only have 494 points left. Try and lead him a little bit. No, oh, we got him there. But we are literally pushed back to our base. We're getting absolutely wrecked. Let's see if we can chase this guy. The sound effects are also top notch. Loving the sound effects for the game. It's just a lot of fun. Something I've been spending a good amount of time with, for the most part, when I can. When I'm not recording other things. Move, gotta move. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Let's go repair. This guy is glitched or is just not doing anything. But now we can pull out our drone and get some repairs done. Definitely want to get it. As you can see, our health is ticking up slowly. Yeah, well, this is uh, this is a lost cause. Get this guy out of here. Got him. This guy as well. Whoa. That guy's. Hey, we got one! Yeah! Yeah! We're about to lose the base though. Game is legitimately almost over. Maybe we'll get a kill here. Yes! A couple more kills, add to my experience. And the game's over, and you get a nice little explosion death screen here. No matter if you win or lose, you see this. 
Whoa. So sad. And we lost. Honestly, that's Hawken in a nutshell. Mech combat. Something that I haven't had since the Mech Warrior days. With Mech Warrior Online coming up, and uh, this game in open beta, which you can, means you can basically go play it right now. It's awesome. Awesome. So, highly recommend it for a game that's free. Go grab it. Try it out for yourself. Definitely worth trying, especially if you're into, like, deathmatch, first-person shooting, even any, any at all interested in mech combat. Go check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching my impressions. A nice quick gameplay and a little explanation as to how the market works. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you next time.